Hello everyone, DSP here, and welcome to the Weekend Preview. It is... I have to go look at my calendar. It is Sunday, March 20th, 2016. The thing is, I definitely realize that there's a large part of my viewing audience that isn't into fighting games, okay? Um, and that's okay. But it just so happened that all the releases this past week ended up being fighting games. But... I can understand if there were a lot of people who maybe felt overloaded by fighting game videos this past week, and that's okay, you know, this happened back in February with Street Fighter V and it happened now, but the bottom line is there are no other major fighting games to be released for the rest of the year, unless something changes and we get like a release date for Tekken or something like that. So, this is pretty much the extent of the massive amount of fighting game influx you're gonna get, okay? Plus, there was a new DSP Tries It yesterday, Saturday. It was a big one. It had some editing to it. It had some funny stuff in it. It was the Batman vs. Superman serial. You're gonna want to check this out because it's freaking good. Everyone who's watched it absolutely loved it, so I hope that you'll check it out if you haven't seen it. Again, right here on the King of Hate Vlogs, you can watch that. It is live, alright? Now, on KO Gaming, admittedly, it's been a little slow. And the reason being is because, again, I need to finish up with stuff before I can actually take that footage and edit it into anything for KO Gaming. But outside of that... There was nothing else to put up on KO Gaming this week because I was too busy and inundated with all these new games, alright? But there's good news for this coming week. There's going to be two new videos on KO Gaming this coming week. This is the kind of thing that I want to do. Game-specific montages. For a game like UFC, it makes sense to show you the best knockouts, and that's a cool, quick video that's entertaining, versus Hits of the Week that I was doing, which I talked about last week, why I discontinued that for now. It's just like trying to pick and choose stuff from every playthrough I do, and it takes so long, and sometimes it doesn't even coherently kind of go together. You better take a sip. You fucking sleazy asshole. So that's asshole. why I don't really like doing those too much, but I will do game-specific montages. And there's a bunch of games coming up in particular. The Fallout 4 DLC, if there's great moments there. Possibly Quantum Break coming up, right? You've got Dark Souls 3, I think that's a shoe in that. The best deaths are the most rage-filled moments of those playthroughs, and I could do montage videos of that kind of stuff. So that stuff will be coming, okay? So, Monday, Twilight Princess on stream, uh, and a UFC 2 Knockouts montage on KO Game. Now, I'm not clear on if it's just open world roaming and killing robots, or if there's a story to it. It's not very clear, okay? Um... So, I'm thinking, man, I'd love to do it, I'm definitely doing it, but I don't know how much time it's going to take, because if it's just, oh, as you play the game, you ro ran randomly run into robots, we're going to do, what, a couple hours, and then it's probably the gimmick's going to die out, you know what I mean? So we'll see, if there is a story to it, great, but if not, if it's just ro random robots you run into and building your own robot, it might not be so great, we'll do it for one stream and that'll be it, alright? But it depends, if it is a good DLC and there's a lot to it, then I'm going to play it all day, I'll play it all day Tuesday. But if it's kind of just more limited than that, then I'll probably just do it for that one stream and do something else Tuesday night. Even though it's not exactly the most interesting thing ever. I'd be honest, I don't think the story mode's very good. At least it's unlocking stuff, okay? Now, here's the thing, before we even talk about the rest of the schedule. I need your input. I need to know what the best version of Persona 3 is, okay? Because when I played Persona 4... People were like, you gotta play the one, Golden, but it's only on the PSP, but you don't have a P way to hook the PSP up, now you have to get extra hardware, like a PlayStation TV or whatever, and I didn't want to deal with all that. I said, I'm just gonna get the plain vanilla version that you could download, the emulated PS2 version on PS3, and I loved it, but so many people bothered me and said, you did the wrong thing, you didn't get the right version, blah, 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 whatever. I liked it, okay? Um, I'm hearing now that there's different versions of Persona 3, and I'm like, the bottom line is, the only version of Persona 3 that I can play at this time is the one that I can play on PlayStation 3. But I don't know what version that is. So please, if you're watching this video, you're looking forward to Persona 3, message me. Email me at darksidephilahotmail.com, tweet me at they call me DSP. let me know what is the definitive version of this game that I should be playing, and please tell me it's available on PlayStation 3, okay? And that's the one that I'm going to play. I've pretty much seen everything there is to see. I've done the dojos, the training, everything. I can fully review the game as of this Friday. So this Friday, my Pokken Tournament review will be completed and going live on KO Gaming. So that's what I said uh, earlier. There's two videos for KO Gaming this week. There's going to be the Knockouts montage for UFC 2 and the Pokken Tournament review, both going live on KO Gaming this week. 
all right? I'm probably after two days of Persona 3, probably going to be a little burnt out on it, and I might want to do something else, or maybe not. Maybe I'll feel like playing more. But the, I like the flexibility. I'll have the flexibility to say, oh, I want to do more Persona 3, or oh, I want to maybe do more Zelda and finish it if I haven't yet. Oh, I feel like more Pokemon Tournament. You see what I mean? I like this flexibility of it. And uh, that's how I want to kind of handle it. That Sunday will be up in the air, depending on, you know, what goes on. And I'll have my Batman vs. Superman reactions video. And that event is going to be a platforming marathon. And it looks like Conker's Bad Fur Day HD will win the poll, which means I'll be co continuing and completing that game, which I started in December. Okay? So that's great. I'm excited. I liked Conker. And I'm excited to play more of it. Um, I'm surprised that the game is so freaking long. But I'm going to try my best to beat it in a marathon setting at the end of the month, okay? People loved my Persona 4 playthrough last year. Some people have it still to this day. They're saying, Phil, it's one of the best playthroughs you've ever done. We can't wait for you to do another Persona game. So I'm kind of getting more hyped and excited for Persona 3 now. Never played Heroes of the Storm. I used to play Warcraft 3, and I did play that that uh, Dota mod for it once or twice. I thought it was okay, but I didn't really go too crazy like a lot of people. You better take a sip. You fucking sleazy asshole. So it's going to be interesting to see me play my first MOBA. So that's a cool goal. That's something, again, totally different outside of my comfort zone. I'm, I'm actually patting myself on the back a little bit because uh, it's something different. Again, I just keep coming up with these new goals that are completely different things. I do want to say special thanks to a fan who tweeted me the idea. He says, what about like a marathon of Blizzard games? And that's how I came up with the idea. Oh, here's three things that would be interesting. So thank you to that fan. One final note. Please, if you notice people who are asking around, gee, what's Phil playing or whatever, tell them to watch the Weekend Preview. The reason I say it, this past week, okay, <laughs> no one watched the Weekend Preview last week. If you look, like, not even 3,000 views, which is abysmal. Like, I almost usually, usually always get between three to 5,000 views. And then people ask me all week what I'm doing. And I'm like, oh, like, I explain. That's why I make this video. I wish people would listen and watch instead of ask, 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 ask. Please let people know. The Weekend Preview is the go-to place to find out my plans for the week. And daily, you can check my Twitter, at they call me DSP, where I update it nightly with a new schedule. So, watch the video at the beginning of the week. For updates, check out Twitter daily, you know. Um, and I hope that people start to watch more, because if I'll, I'll be honest. I was like, what the hell? You know, so many few people watching the Weekend Preview. Uh, but then it was funny, because then people watched the videos this week. <laughs> you know, it's like, people came out and watched the fighting game footage, so it's like, it's not like they didn't want to watch, just that for whatever reason, they didn't want to watch the Weekend Preview. Let people, newbies, newcomers to my stuff, know that this is the place to get the schedule, alright?